Hello and welcome to another update video about HBAR. Yeah, HBAR is actually um, following through here with the count further to the downside. Um, I think we are here in this ABC correction over wave two after we topped in a wave one in February, yeah, middle of February. The A wave came down here and bottomed around the 10th of March. I mean, alternatively, this was all of wave two and we're now doing a bit of an exotic move up here. Is it reliable? No. So I'm primarily watching um, here for a follow through to the downside. This particular wave count is valid as long as we're holding the seven cent level and stay below that. Yeah. So as long as we stay below that, this particular count is valid. Above that, it would force an a different interpretation of the count. But for now, we're following through to the downside. And what you typically don't do, I mean, in the in the C wave, you typically don't do um, a bottoming process very close to the a wave low it typically goes considerably lower especially in a zigzag correction like this so what we can do we take the we can take the length of the a wave we go to the high of the b wave and we're looking for the one to one ratio now to be honest that would take us down to 3.3 cents by that time we've basically made a new low not reliable the level that i am looking for is here around the five cent level the 61.8 extension is the first common target for a c wave um, that is pretty much in line with the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level of the wave one. So we've got a bit of Fib confluence there, a bit of an overlap around the 78.6 Fib retracement. So I think we need a bit more patience, but um, what I'm looking for is a possible reaction around that 4.9 to 5 cent level. And um, yeah, let's see how that develops. It's pretty much been not very correlated to other cryptos. It's pretty much been doing its own thing. Um, many altcoins are already decoupling a bit from Bitcoin and have been in recent weeks and months. So most altcoins have been moving quite independently with HBAR probably be one of the prime examples of a very independent altcoin. But yeah, this is currently one where I'm watching for further downside as long as we're holding the or holding below the seven cent level. Okay, and that's my update about HBAR. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.